In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So we come before the Lord always grateful for God's mercy, God's compassion, God's fidelity, sustaining us, giving us life, giving us this opportunity to share in God's life and love. And so we begin by acknowledging our faults, our failures. We ask God to heal us and to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. 
Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For in those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, They made kings in Israel, but not by my authority. They established princes, but without my approval. With their silver and gold, they made idols for themselves to their own destruction. Cast away your calf, O Somaria. My wrath is kindled against them. How long will they be unable to attain innocence in Israel? The work of an artisan, no god at all, destined for the flames, such as the calf of Samaria. When they sow the wind, they shall reap the whirlwind. The stalk of grain that forms no ear can yield no flower. Even if it could, strangers would swallow it. When Ephraim made many altars to expiate sin, his altars became occasions of sin. Though I write for him my many ordinances, they are considered as a strangers. Though they offer sacrifice, immolate flesh and eat it, the Lord is not pleased with them. He shall still remember their guilt and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have mouths, but speak not. But they have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. They have hands, but feel not. They have feet, but walk not. Their maker shall be like them, everyone that trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A demoniac who could not speak was brought to Jesus, and when the demon was driven out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed. They, the crowds were amazed and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives out demons by the prince of demons. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God desires our participation. We have an interesting uh, Gospel reading today uh, that comes in two parts. And uh, both parts give that message that God desires, yearns for our participation in God's work. 
uh, we are reading from the section of Matthew where, uh, and this is the conclusion of that section, where he enumerates these um, great deeds of Jesus coming after the section of the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus had great words. So Jesus being a prophet, uh, both in word and deed. And this is one of a series of miracles, very impressive uh, works, good works that uh, Jesus did before the people. But what is very interesting, especially in this um, account, is how, so we are given a very brief description of the of the miracle, of the work, the good work that Jesus cured this uh, demoniac, no? one who had a demon and therefore could not speak, became mute. But as soon as he healed the man um, and dripped, uh, drove out the demon, the man spoke. So that was the miracle. And what's interesting is right after that very brief description, Matthew gives us two responses. One, the people were amazed and uh, were, were led to um, you know, admire Jesus and hopefully, you know, slowly, uh, believe in him. But there were also the Pharisees who, didn't, who refused to believe and instead said, oh, Jesus must have done it through the power of uh, the demon, you know, the prince of demons. Uh, we've, we've, we also see this theme repeated you know, in the Gospels that uh, the Pharisees uh, would not accept. This uh, calls to mind, you know, I used to have, my late father used to have conversations with me, and he would say, you know, uh, why doesn't God, because he himself uh, struggled with, with belief, you know, and he said, why doesn't God make a sign you know, for the whole world to see so that there is no way any, anyone can can reject God no? and reject belief. And so everyone will be compelled to believe. <laughs> because he, he also was looking for that. No? He wanted to be compelled. He, he didn't want to have any room for doubt. And that is where we see no? that God desires our participation. Even in good works, even in the great deeds of uh, great deeds, great words of Jesus. It requires faith, our faith, to be able to really grasp and receive what God wants to give to us. In other words, God compels not by force, but compels by His love and His goodness. And so we, we need to cooperate. That's the first part. The second part of our gospel reading gives two images. No? So after Jesus healed uh, this demoniac, he goes around uh, teaching and um, uh, curing every disease. No? And then he says, the gospel says, Jesus sees the people and sees them as you know, uh, sheep without a shepherd. So he gives us uh, one image of the people being uh, sheep in need of a shepherd. And then the second image, about the harvest. Uh, we need uh, laborers to bring in the harvest. In both images, the ultimate shepherd, the ultimate uh, master of the harvest is God. But God needs people, disciples, hopefully like us, who will shepherd who will uh, be laborers in the harvest. Again, the theme of God desires our participation. God will not just work his wonders and um, you know, automatically just turn things uh, better. God desires that we participate. And what a beautiful God. No? What a beautiful way of uh, recreating, renewing, never imposing, always inviting us to participate. And isn't that such a privilege for us? So we thank God for this invitation. And we ask God, we beg God, that we may have what it takes to participate, to be open, to be generous, to be ready to face all the disappointments, because that's for sure, 
Jesus does not promise a very smooth sailing, you know, but that we will constantly go back to God and trust you know, that it is God who is the master of the harvest, who is the good shepherd, God who will lead us all into life and love. Through the priesthood of the new covenant, God brings the reconciling ministry of his son to us. Let us approach the Lord of the harvest as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That more men may be called to serve God's people as priests, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That nations close to the gospel may be prepared and become fertile fields for the sowing of God's word we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That those who work as priests, nuns, religious, brothers, catechists, and lay apostles may inspire others to join them, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may encourage and work with those who serve in special ministries in our community, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the reconciling sacrifice of Christ may bring the dead to glory, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Tonette Rivera, Robert Bagasina, Oscar Carlsada, Carol Jeun, and Joji Dagohoy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Bianca Menjola, Father Pat Falguera of the Society of Jesus, and Freddy Galvez, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Pedro Lorenzo Araceli Capupus Valcarcel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Pat Montinola, Aga Camarata, and Remy Ignacio, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of the harvest, through our humble prayers, gather together your people. Grant us more workers in your mission and hasten the king coming of the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our gifts are prepared. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on, the, on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are we who have been invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended this go, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sing you